Snack has played a, a huge part in my training camp. The protein, the, the ZMA, everything. The, the pre-workout has played such a major part in my training camp, keeping me healthy, keeping me recovered, keeping me feeling good, strong, and ready for my next workout. As a striker, as a comeback arrows that you, you're looking for to finish. That's been my whole career. It's like, how can I finish this opponent? They're bigger than mine. They're 300 pounds. So it's this being my, my strength is being preparing for anything. And, and that's how boxing is worse, fit in my, in my style. Boxing since two, three, thir 13 years old. I'm, I made the Olympic team in 2000. I could not go due to a, a knee injury that I had. You know, I trained with the best guys. My first boxing training in America actually was Oscar first trainer as well. His name is Al Stanky. So watching the whole, the whole thing of how boxing was predominant is very amazing for the fighter where you can make as much as you can, but also you can transition. So Oscar did an amazing thing for boxing in the ring, but also outside of the ring as a promoter. So it's it's a legacy fight. It's a legend fight that you cannot miss. It. Could you have ever, when you, when you, all this time that you've been fighting in MMA, could you have ever imagined a day where you would box and you would box against someone like Oscar De La Hoya? And what does that mean to you to get in the ring with him? So it's it means that you paved the way, you know, and, and looking back to what's going on right now, Oscar's fighting a real fighter, not like Mayweather looking for a YouTuber who has one loss and zero wins. So he's fighting with the guy who holds the most knock on the UFC history until today. And we both opened the Red Sea for our sports, for this next generation who came, who, who boxers became a promoter because of him. He, he won a gold medals. And, and I could not achieve that because this is one of the greatest things to become an Olympian. So I think Oscar did everything. He's no doubt the best boxer of all time. And for me to be able to compete against him and be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best boxer, so it's, it's a dream come true, no doubt about it. But, you know, it's hard work. Is this fight with Oscar, is this a one-off? Vitor, or should we expect you to continue doing more boxing after I'm looking, this? I'm looking for great opponents. You know, Holyfield is one of them. We, you know, Trill is trying to make that fight. I'm looking to fight the best guys. I'm, I'm ready to step. I'm this, and this you guys have to understand, this is not exhibition. He's not a YouTuber here. He's a legacy. It's a generation thing. We're not talking about, you know, guys going there and just putting up a freaking show. That, that, is, that is no meaning. That is no legacy. And that's what... Mayweather and the other kid, you know, with one lo lo one loss and zero wins. How embarrassing this for a fighter to fight a guy like that. A guy like, you know, Mayweather, a great, great boxer. So I take respect for Oscar. Oscar's jumping to fight in one of the fierce men of MMA history. So this is a real fight. And with real fighters, with real history, with legacy. It's a legendary fight. You cannot miss it. It's, it's putting generation in the same room. What Thriller has been done, never been done in entertainment in the, in the whole, in the whole world. They put in a show that is pleasing the grandkids, the son. So you're putting everyone in one room. You can be watching your kids can be watching your PlayStation and watching the the, the, the fights with your friends in their room, and you have your sons and your grandkids. Your, your so everyone at the same house. So I, I have. All the respect for Ryan and Twiller team that putting this amazing thing that I promise you guys, September 11 is gonna be a week with the guys will never forget. They're gonna get down. Can, it, can you can you speak for him? Is well? you have you have two guys with big huevos, you know <laughs> they have cojones, you know they're fighters, they're not YouTubers, they're not in, we are entertainers, but we entertainers for the real things. You know I remember Oscar, you know. Oscar changed boxing. Oscar changed boxing. You guys got to remember, he changed the way boxing is. If it wasn't for Oscar, Mayweather wasn't exist. If it wasn't for Belfer, Mayweather, McGregor wasn't exist. It's, it's guys that change the scope. It's, it's literally, it's like, everybody knows the Red Sea, you know? If it wasn't for Moses snapping in with faith and opening that Red Sea, they would die on that desert. 
So I see us as a Red Sea open. We open the Red Sea right now. But right now, what are we doing? We open the Red Sea. We're putting a ring in the middle. And the show is on. Thriller. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.